What's going on YouTube? I'm Mads here. Welcome back to more Vampire What's what I'm doing. My mic might sound a bit weird because I'm actually using my wireless headset because my controls on charge. I use my wire control that makes like a buzzing sound on the on the like game for some reason. But the audio, I don't know why it does that, but it does. <laughs> oh, and now uh, time for the long ass loading screen. <laughs> oh dear, I hate long ass loading screens in these games. Wait, why's my house right down? I'm just feeding someone. I can't feed him. Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Doctor oh, it's this guy, isn't it? Can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Goodbye. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. Oh, I didn't even see him there. Oh, come on. It's worth loading it, mate, eh? You cost, boy. Jeez, man. You have to use your stamina against those. So like when you to, uh, do that thing, they, they, they want to call it to get to them. Well, time you get to them, you're gonna fucking run that stamina anyway. <laughs> well, I need to go down and start feeding and get some blood. Oh, come on, man. What the fuck was that about? I don't know why I started me with half health, I'm pretty sure I had full health. Oh, I hate these long ass loading screens. So I did record a bit, but my PS4 throw is again on this game. And it's obviously putting back to the checkpoint of, of half health. Because I had a bit of a, bit of a fight just before it throws. Weird, like the game freezes my PS4, or well, the game itself, but not the PS4. So the recording still carries on, and it still saves the game, but it's, it's weird. I've never seen a game freeze so much for a story mode. <sighs> so I just deleted the bits of the recorder and just carried on. There's a, there's a new video because I didn't just go on. Alright, but um, four and a half arm back here again. Pete's sake. Oh 
Ahí está, ya, se cansó de ver. Things that I mean, I don't really, but don't even know. Like, what? Look at her! Die, Pally! Fuck me with stamina is ridiculous. I still can't go over how stupid that is. I'm full on blood now, so I don't need to kill those things. Right there. Oh, I was trying to open a fucking thingy, but it didn't work that way. Sorry, sir. No You're on your own, mate. Stamina, man. I wonder how my stamina is going so quick. And things are in my mind trying to fight them because the stamina, they're just literally to eat your stamina. And then fucking is across. I mean, the guy is, well, basically that guy is meant to kill that woman. He's saying he's innocent, so who really killed a woman? I mean, uh, was it the lady? Lady, what's her name? Was it her that killed the lady because of the whole thing before? Classic thing? I don't know. Blood, that mouth, I don't know. He's really innocent. Who did kill the lady? Oh, that's a question.
Oh, I guess I'm gonna loading screens. This is done now. Stable, okay. It's locked, all right. Why do I feel like this is a trap? Of some kind. So that's it. These wheels control the water level. I guess I can't go in the water, right? Oh, well, I can. Not it's not dangerous to me. Oh shit, let's do that. Can't shut that because the barrel's in the way. Do I have to move them somehow? I didn't know it I'm not part of some machine, you have to get to that certain places.
That doesn't work. So that's it. These wheels control the water level. I'm a dumbass, I didn't even realize my mic was muted the past couple of minutes. <laughs> okay. So I've never done a game to free so much in this one as I'll try to do this bit again. Never actually done a game to free so much. I mean download it shouldn't actually freeze as much as it does, but it does. You should have to put like a disc. I'll download the game. I've actually got a fight. Oh! It's that big vampire guy. These maggots have escaped the wrath of Ascalon for too long. It is time to purge the sewers of their filth. You again! The one they call the sewer dog. Hold your tongue, newborn. Or oh, there's a sewer dog. Like a maggot. <laughs> You've let the beast consume you. Finally, a touch of lucidity. Oh, I've got to fight this guy now. So learn to respect the laws of Ascalon. Okay, when it knocks on, I'm not pressing it. I'm not going to do that. Knock on. Come on, that lunge. I'm dead. It wouldn't let me lock on at first, hence why I got, took a couple of hits. I was pressing the button, it just wouldn't let me lock on. Well, at least let me lock on straight away before he fucking starts hitting me. <laughs> I didn't mean you get a good chance, like, I was already getting hit before I even managed to lock on. Like, I must have seen like in the screws, but I was literally pressing the button three, four times to try and knock on, and then eventually locked on after like fourth time. It's fun to get to fight this guy and probably kill him. Thank you. 
respect the laws of Ascalon! Where's our blood gone? Where's our, where's our blood gone? What happened to that blood I had? Well, I guess I'm warning right now. Snap like a hair's brittle bones, newborn! Yeah. How'd I die? It didn't even hit me then. You dare challenge the dictates of Ascalon? Huh? My guy just collapse or something. Okay. Ah, oh, long ass loading screens are annoying. I'm afraid of this one, okay. Ah, oh, man, what's that close to me? I didn't even. Whoa. One hit and he's just fucking my health. The fuck? I'm pressing the circle to evade and just... You dare challenge the dictates of Ascalon? You dare challenge Bromme Ads? Oh, Matt was nowhere near me. I'm gonna take my stamina so low. Yo! Yo, yo!
Okay, set up now. Be smart, Adam, be smart. Slow as a snail! Oh, come on. You found your death in me. No, you found yours. Oh, come on, that's gonna ask you. I get him. Yes! <sighs> Finally. Puny weak vampire. Defeat the beast. Trophy hand. Whew. Got him eventually. God, I got one to hold up. 
Well, we got past the boss. We had to think about him. It was like he had a nasty lunge on him. He had a few decent powers, but... I've been his lunge and I'm a stamina drop him when I need it at the most awkward time. It was not really hard to beat, to be honest. It's just the stamina getting me hit. I get me hit from him and obviously his lunge. Right, where's the way out? At least one skull escaped Fergal's wrath. Least, why do you want him to escape? <laughs> Poor creature is bleeding to death. He cannot be far. I hear rats, but I need blood. Lucky I had them guns actually, to fair, to be that boss. It helps you if you have weapons that can stun him so you can bite him, get your blood, taking your powers, that's what you need, it's stuff, stuff that can stun him when you're fighting bosses like that. Imagine the guy was actually alive. How could he have made it this far? There's blood everywhere. Oh, I'll just stay a minute ago. Huh. You alright? This is our domain, not yours. You've been warned. Wait, I saved you from this creature. That must count for something. Thank you. Now go. Go back to the streets and houses. There is no love lost between us, vampire. But thank you. Sean Hampton sent me here. I believe he wanted me to find you. Who are you? If you must know, they call me Old Bridget, and this shelter is where we live. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm a newborn Ekon. 
I'm afraid I'm not sure what's going on. I shall not bend a knee, young Ekon, but I sense your pain. Ask, and I will afford you my attention. Why was that creature after you? Fergal is the blunt instrument of the Ascalon Club. His masters would see us dead or turned into slaves if they had their way. What the hell was that thing? He wasn't an Ekon or a Skull. They are known as Volkhod, an ancient offshoot of immortals. Blood drives them, enrages them. What of this Ascalon Club? Vampire society's elite in the Empire. They make the rules and enforce their judgment upon us whom they see as lessers. So kind of you you of, uh, Twilight. <laughs> sent me to find. Perhaps. The sad saint was always kind to us. He must trust you if he revealed our location. Thank you. One second. So, uh, and then bought me a coffee. Sean is a skull. All those I've encountered have been violent, crazed creatures. How can he be any different? Maybe because he is the sad saint. Or perhaps because I am old Bridget of the Sewer Skulls. Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just one of the murders he's being hunted for. If you there refer you to Harriet, she is now among us and under our protection. Harriet Jones is alive. That's it. That's the proof Sean wanted me to find. I must talk to her. No. Harriet is not alive. But you can speak to her. I must warn you. She is fragile and may not receive you warmly. I don't understand. She is filled with bile and hate. Who's that? Her mind is sharp as a tack. But her body what coming tomorrow? is so okay. weak. I've never seen its like before. She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. It turns out the scowls ain't just minor savages in. Gratitude for your protection, Master. Eternal gratitude for your protection, Master. I need a fade. Old Bridget says you are one to trust. Yes, and why do people were trying to kill me, man? Your distance, Echo. Old Bridget says you are one to trust. Yeah, you can trust me, we just don't have people fighting in the streets. Vampire hunters will never find us here. Well, this is a place that was not worth expecting to find, to be honest. When I saw Chris coming, I thought it might have been uh, the lady that killed uh, Harriet. At one point, I thought that might have happened, but I guess that's not the case. Well, I'll find out soon enough, I guess. Which is in there.
No love life. <laughs> Hello, Harriet. Do you recognize me? Hmm, yes. You were from the Pembroke Hospital. The young doctor. So full of secrets. I have so many questions I need to ask you, Harriet. If you would. I love questions. As for the answers, you may not like them. How do you feel? I can't see. I can't move. Oh my, my body's burning. I feel as if I'm dying over and over again. Have you tried to eat or drink something? People here tried to feed me, but I'm just not hungry. I don't have the strength. Pain ever stop? It is not pain I feel. It's like I, I can't stop feeling every inch of my body. But at the same time, each muscle and bone is the wrong place. Your room, the blood. What brought you to fake your death in such a gruesome fashion? To see if I would be mourned. Why flee with Sean Hampton? Oh, it's always a pleasure to see a saint fall to sin. But the coward still won't kill. Do you take pleasure in causing so much pain and sorrow? Nobody gave a damn about me. Not a tear shed. Poor Harriet. Always the discarded. Why did you come here? And why not? This is where I live now. Leave me be. Will you respect old Bridget's wishes? Will you obey her? Bridget is kind. She only needs to keep me fed and I'll be good. So you desire to stay here? Yes. I'm with my own kind. Birds of a feather, so to speak. Poor Harriet. Always alone. I have a question of the utmost importance to ask. Will you answer? Questions, questions, questions. The good doctor, always searching for answers. Do you remember what you did after leaving the hospital? Did you kill anyone? First, a question from me. You answer first. Very well then. What do you want to know? Are you like me? Are you also dead? We are similar, but not the same, Harriet. I like what I am. I truly do. I relish the pain that courses through me. I know you fled the hospital with Sean Hampton. Did you or Sean kill anyone in your flight? Anyone? Try and remember. I will not lie. I wanted blood and I wanted revenge and Sean pulled me from it. Brought me here instead. But the shadows heard my prayers. The shadows killed that bastard. Who was that man? The one murdered in the street? He used to be my landlord. I lived here for many years before falling ill. Oh, he was an awful man. Disgusting and cruel. So cruel. You sought vengeance by your own hand, and someone else obliged you. Very convenient. Don't lie to me. I don't lie. I saw him near the docks, and rightly I wished him dead. And I am happy he is. It's true. But I didn't kill him. 
I was too tired. Shadows? Tell me what you saw. The shadows, they heard me and answered. Something in the deep darkness, quick, deadly. It asked me if I wanted revenge. I answered, yes. And these shadows, this presence, do you still hear it? Was it a vampire? Did Sean see it? It spoke only to me. And now it is silent, but it is born of hatred. And it will kill again. And it hates you, Doctor. Oh, it hates you. What makes you say that? It... it whispered your name, Dr. Reed. It wanted to know who you were and where you went. Questions about me? What did you say? Nothing, Doctor. I said nothing. There was nothing it didn't already know. Oh, I'm tired now. Let me rest. Okay. Have you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is too much left unanswered. So many questions. Get to know us, spend time with us, and I may be willing to answer more questions. Why do you live here? Amongst the filth and vermin. Live. Here we hide. What are you hiding from? From the guilt, the shame, from the hunters and the light. And of course, our past. Why don't you leave the city? Hide somewhere far from the guard of Prewen, the Ascalon Club. We are the Sewer Skulls. This is our domain. We have run as far as we can, and now we hide. Your diction, your words. You do not carry yourself like most Skulls I've encountered. True. I'm not like most Skulls. You were once someone else. What happened to you? It is as sad as it is long, young Ekon, but it will remain mine. Can I be of service to you? We ask but one thing. Reveal to no one our secrets. Do not betray us. For how long have you been in hiding here? Skulls have been hiding under London since vampires first entered the city. Where did you hide before the sewers? We claimed ancient tunnels, forgotten caverns, catacombs. We are skulls, groveling beneath the feet of our makers. What manner of creature is Harriet? She is different from everyone else. I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull, in fact, in your honest opinion? The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own? Vampire's sweet blood. That rich, dark wine that we crave. For it made us, and it can sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. I must go back to Sean Hampton now. Your kindness has been ample payment, Ekon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. Thank you, old Bridget. I hope we'll meet again. I'm just like, no, they're all on the toilet. Well, I need to go back to show on the night.
Guess I follow the arrows. Ah, oh, yes, the way up. Maybe it's locked. Oh, that's where I came in, wasn't it? <sighs> South up a little bit. Are you all right, sir? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Don't you know this is a quarantine zone? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating the epidemic. You had better get to a safe place while you still can. Oh, really? Well, go investigate somewhere else and leave me be. I beg your pardon? I said go. Leave me alone, sir. Okay. Sir, you have no idea what could happen to you if you stay here. Why don't you go home? For fuck's sake, do I have to punch you in the face to make you disappear? Leave me be! It's my duty to insist. Death lurks everywhere. I must ask you to go back home. I'm safe here, don't you get it? I'm better off risking the flu than catching a bullet. Am I clear enough? I see. Well, since you are obviously hiding from a threat, don't you have a safer place to go? Do you think I'm stupid? The Night Asylum, the Turquoise Turtle, even Miss Gillingham's Attic. I tried them all. No, this is my only chance. Ah. Put yourself in, mate. What's that white thing come up? Or a white head thing? What's that about? What do you hear me I follow the arrows? How is London? I've not seen beyond these walls in such a long time. Ah, here the arrows. I see one arrow. I think that was completely off track now, no? Yeah, I've gone off track. Up here, maybe? Yeah, that's a bit white down here. It has to be white. I mean, my character's a maker, I reckon. Maybe he created him to help bring down the vampire organization. I don't know. Maybe he knew the character would question it. Question his existence, question what happened. Alright. And he called him his champion, so. Alright. I guess we'll find out eventually.
It's locked. What happened to these guys? Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Would you like to take communion with me now? Sean, are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed. I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? You make no distinction between the living and the skulls, do you? We are God's children, Dr. Reed. One and all. And he's determined to save us. What will be the result if you continue to assist both skulls and the living? For the last decade, that's what's been happening. And they found a better life. What's to change? You're forgetting the epidemic. Things can go south very quickly. I've seen it. Oh, these are terrible times. Only those pure of heart shall prevail. You've turned Scal now. Don't you see the danger to anyone giving you their trust? We are all sinners, awaiting salvation. This is a simple truth, ordained by the Lord Almighty. I am a seeker of his glorious light. Does this place belong to you? How can you be so certain you can keep it open? This warehouse was once property of the Dawson family, but has been bequeathed me through donation. The Dawsons? The wealthiest family in London? Have they a clue as to what goes on here? Not at all. The donation was made before the war. The building was run down. I never met Aloysius Dawson myself. So you have the run of the place, and no one's taken notice? As long as we keep to ourselves, we interest no one. This is a haven, and I pray it remains so for eons to come. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. <laughs> That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. Who is this old Bridget? I don't know, Doctor. She rarely speaks of her past, but I know she has a long one. She's likely the oldest soul in the city. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own kind, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger Skulls, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <sighs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. I will strive to emulate your merciful nature, Sean, but it's a difficult pledge to make. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. 
these urges. You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I have come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Take, eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. I believe you, Sean. In fact, I envy the peace you found and will remember it. There is love and compassion in your heart. You only need to give it wings. Thank you for your kind words, Sean. Continue your noble efforts. You are a good man in bad times. Like all my flock, you have a home here. Any time you're in the neighborhood. I'm gonna kill him, but. Oh, I never thought that was gonna happen. Nice. That one of a trophy. Sacrificial lamb. Ain't that all? What do you mean? Another corpse thrown in the streets. Someone's playing a very sick game. Glad to see you again, Mr. Reed. Did you see what happened? No. I was coming back to the shelter from work when I heard an awful scream and there was this man, dead, just in front of the building. You saw nothing at all? No. I told you, just that awful woman's scream. A woman's scream? Are you sure? Of course. It was terrifying. I thought it was my sister, so I ran. But it was a man I've never seen round here before. Your sister's dead. I killed her. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Did you see what happened to him? Actually, yes. What about again? He was thrown no. from the roof like a vulgar log. Why is it that you sound so good? Afraid. You can see it. He was dead before he hit the ground. The strength required to do such a thing, well, it beggars belief. I'm here. Yeah. Yep. What about him? Okay. Who could have done that? Who? Well, a vampire, of course. Look, bite marks on the neck and lacerations here. There is definitely a vampire close by. Goodbye, and good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. I know this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift from father. Oh, he was the man that was the woman. With his mother, wasn't it? 29 Pretty Orchard Street. 
That's near Poplar's district. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there. Hmm. Second, guys. You know what, I'm actually going to cut the video short here for today. Um, a couple of parts of the story alone. I don't know how long the next bit's going to take me to do, so I'm actually going to cut it here. Um, and I'll go make a drink, take the dog for a walk. And I'll get on the train in the next video. Anyway, right, guys, if you like what you see, enjoy the videos I produce and upload. Please like, subscribe below, and don't forget to hit the no notification bell. Take care, guys. Peace out.